So before we begin this video, I want to show you how you can get a lot of different Logic Pro music production courses for free. If you go to music-prod.com, you will see a list of different music production courses. And they are available for free for a limited time. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm having the activity monitor open up and the performance meter of uh, Logic as well. So I'm going to switch between the activity monitor so we can see it uh, when we play with the different uh, plugins. So first of all, I'm going to uh, choose the Nexus plugin, which is a third party plugin, and it's basically a sampler plugin. So uh, I'm just going to play different notes here and you can see what's going on in the performance meter here. So it works as expected. I'm going to create a MIDI region here and um, create, let's see here, different notes. And since I'm recording with, since I'm recording with my iPhone here, um, I'm having, uh, yeah, I'm only using one hand. So uh, let's see here, let's create some sounds that doesn't make any sense okay so here we have the performance meter yeah we need to loop that yeah so it basically handles um, these simple sounds with third-party plugins without any hiccups or anything like that. It actually performs very, very well. Yeah, I can also go to the activity monitor here so you can see. And here you can see a very uh, interesting thing in the activity monitor. You can see something called AU hosting service. So this is uh, the emulation for the M1 processor. So here is where we have the plugin going through. So you can see the CPU performance of that and Logic Pro doing its own natively in, um, uh, yeah, on the M1 processor. Okay, so let's not play that anymore. And now I'm going to add one more. Let's see here. No, we don't want any more Nexus. We want, uh, let's try a Serum plugin. Also a very popular plugin. And you can see it's preloading there in the beginning. So that's something new uh, that I didn't experience before. And I assume that is the emulation that's kicking in. So if I go to, let's say, uh, a lead sound here. And let's just play that. And that's a horrible sound. Let's see. Okay. Let's go for something else. Yeah, that's better. You can... This plugin usually hits my single core performance. So uh, if I'm playing um, a preset here that is very like CPU heavy, uh, I would get uh, some problems with the CPU here, even with uh, uh, Pro systems, Mac Pros and uh, systems like that. And here is where the Mac Mini sh should be shining. You know, um, here is the single. Per core performance should be at the best. Um, and um, actually, I tried out a lot of different presets here and I see very, very good performance. So even if it's not running natively on yeah the M1, uh, the M1 chip, the M1 Mac Mini here, it's still performing, I think, better than, uh, than with Intel systems. So so yeah, I think it's very, it's actually very good. Um, 
I think someone or me or someone else should make a very like in-depth single core performance test to see how it goes. But <clears throat> as I said, I'm just testing this for more kind of realistic scenarios. And yeah, what I do is basically go to Serum. I go through different presets and playing along with my MIDI keyboard. And sometimes some presets makes one core peak here. So, um, and this is for the live, like live playing. As soon as I go and hit in different things in the piano roll and play with the MIDI, it's, it distributes everything through the course. But when I play live at a MIDI keyboard, it sometimes it's at the top here. And most often it's very like, it's high. And I don't see this with this uh, Mac Mini here at all. Um, as I said, I try different uh, presets that contains a lot of voices, and uh, yeah. And actually, I'm I'm using the Serum here. Let's see if it's still there. Uh, let's go for the maximum quality here. So let's go with even more oscillators, and let's see how that. Yeah, I think that doesn't have um, that much voices in it. So let's go with a pluck sound. Let's play it. Yeah, I have to click here all the time. I don't know what that is all about. Didn't have to do that before, but okay. Yeah, that is single note. Let's see if I find something else. Yeah, sequence maybe. I'm trying to press as many notes as I can at the same time, uh, just so we can like peak. Yeah, wow, it's it's actually very, very good at the single uh, core performance in this case. Um, there might be a lot of cases where it might not work for some reason, but this works very, very good. I'm very impressed with uh, how well Serum performs here um, when playing live. And that was the most crucial thing about Logic for me and why I did the switch to both Ableton and FO Studio, uh, because it played so good when playing live and Logic wasn't that good of that. So yeah, um, very good uh, and very nice to know that. Um, okay, so I also tried to install native instruments plugins. So um, plugins as Massive or Contact, for instance, and they do not support the Apple Silicon. So if I go to the install here, you can see native access isn't supported on your system yet. We're working to make our products compatible with Apple Silicon. So um, yeah, this is the, the app you need to have to download all of the plugins uh, that comes with uh, Native Complete. So uh, one more thing there. Um, I don't think that it will take too long to get it to uh, M1 here. But uh, yeah, so um, I think Logic Pro works and performs very well with the Mac Mini 8 core. And I didn't mention it in the previous video, but this is an eight gigabytes of RAM system. So that this is the baseline system, the cheapest Mac you can find. And <laughs> there's, um, yeah, you, you get very much performance for this price. So uh, if you're on a budget, I wouldn't even think about this. I would take the Mac Mini. Uh, so um, yeah, but if you're relying on different system, different, let's say, digital audio workstations, so let's say you're using both Ableton and Logic or both FS Studio or Logic or, or other applications um, that doesn't, that, yeah, that isn't like Apple exclusive stuff, then I wouldn't uh, purchase this M1 systems yet. But I think in maybe a year, you will have a future proof machine. That's for sure. Okay, guys. So uh, see you in the next video.